I'm Trisha, an organic gardener. Every gardener has to deal with pests. Today we're going to talk about Integrated Pest Management, or IPM for short. With Integrated Pest Management, you use a combination of different types of controls, rather than just one all by itself. And there are basically four different types of controls. There are biological controls, meaning you use a pest's natural enemy, like ladybugs for aphids, or Bacillus thuringiensis, also called Bt for mosquitoes. Cultural controls are aimed at making the environment unsuitable for pests. For example, don't leave dropped apples around your trees for pests to overwinter in. Mechanical controls are very effective. These are controls like fences for deer, copper wire for slugs and snails, and traps. And then there's chemical controls, which are pesticides. In IPM, pesticides are a last resort. As an organic gardener, I use natural sprays like insecticidal soap, spinosad, and neem oil. And using a combination of these controls at the right time is key to IPM. And the acronym PAMS will help you know what to do and when to do it. P stands for preventive. For example, to help prevent problems, use disease and pest-free seeds and transplants. Another way to take some preventive measures is to set up your irrigation to water in the early morning instead of in the evening. Watering in the evening can promote fungus growth. To prevent problems, keep a tidy garden. Remove any weeds or diseased or dead plants and rotten fruit. Any of that can harbor pests. And A is for avoidance. You want to avoid damage by pests that are present. Practice crop rotation. In other words, don't plant garlic and onions in the same place two years in a row. Choose plants that are resistant to diseases that are known to be in your area. For example, these contender beans resist mildew. Put bird net over your cherries and berries. M is for monitoring. Pay attention to what's happening in your garden. Identify and keep track of what kinds of pests and diseases you see. I'm putting up a pheromone trap, and that will let me know if a specific pest is present. If you find that pests are present, that's time for the last step of PAMS, suppression. Suppression techniques include weeding. You can use several types of pheromone lures to trap out insects like thrips or cucumber beetles. The suppression technique that we're most familiar with is spraying with an insecticide or a fungicide. Spraying should be your last resort, since many will kill beneficial insects as well. Try the spray first with the least environmental impact. This may sound complicated, but don't worry, you're not in it alone. Contact your local Ag Extension office or your local master gardeners. They have strategies for IPM controls for virtually every kind of pest. So get your pests before they get your harvest and grow organic for life.